in the volume hexa block example, we will create pure hexa match with the hexa block module. So now I switch up to the right to the hexa block module. We will create boxes. These boxes will be projected on geometry, then we will fill the boxes with hexa elements. Let's start to create a new ortho box. We have geometry. To start with, I select the complete geometry. The box is created. Now, we divide the box to fit the geometry. I use boxes split and project a project a node on the box to make a split again. And finally, I split in that direction. Now I have six boxes, but I only need four. I delete the two remaining. So these four boxes will be projected on geometry. The control of the boxes, the visualization is done down to the right. Here we can control the grid, the points, the skin. For example, to shadow the boxes. So first, association. Project edges to edges. I will project these edges, middle to proceed. I can use the feature angle selection to select the complete circle. I projected the, the box exact on the geometry. Again. Okay, we see we selected too much it's because the feature angle is, is activated. So I deselect the right mouse button like that, and then I can activate the feature angle again. Okay, need the mouse. The final box I will project with lines on the geometry. So I again association edges project surface. I have to select all the edges. Needed to proceed. I will project them on geometry. I can pick over the box to faces. So we have the boxes projected on the geometry. Now we see the points. Let's switch to the grids, which is the which is the low numbering. At this stage, we can try to create a pure hexa mesh. Just select all the boxes. Okay. We will have to create a new property ID for the solid. Either with new, or you can just press escape to create a default property. So, the uh, Mesh have been created. We can deselect the geometry, we can deselect the boxes. 
let's make a chart in the model. Uh, as we see, the course of the pi geometry is very bad element. To fix this, again, I activate the geometry and activate the boxes. I will erase the mesh and create some overing. Create a new overing. Select the complete model, middle mouse, and then select priest faces, where no Ugrid will be generated from the confirm with middle click. There are two types of Ugrids, one for automatic and one for pipe structures. I can use the size. Select an offset. I use 20 millimeters for this, for example. I can also select how to how to draw the inner over it. Either like a rectangle or a circle or something between to better quality. Or I can activate the bell shape to get an even better quality of the mesh. So I press middle to proceed. Over it is uh, it's ready and let change the no numbering. For example, we have one element in this direction. So I can use the number plus minus. I select one edge and all the surrounding edges will be changed. So we will have a pure hexameter. So let's say three nodes. Again, use the pure hexa. Select the complete model. Okay. And this is I the activate yes the, geom the geometry on the, on the boxes. I can use the standard views F1, F2, F3, etc. to orient the model. And this is the result of the hexa block example. 